And then uh, rolling out to the dive to pull out, using about 4G on the pull out. And uh, Dave, in this uh, sequence of aircraft, uh, because our aeroplane this year, we're flying with a uh, remembrance theme on the aeroplane, a succession of poppies down the side of the aircraft, and uh, one large poppy on the belly of the aeroplane, and the words, lest we forget. Have a look at that poppy on the underside there, as uh, Kurt pulls up in front of us. And as I mentioned, nice to be following the previous item. A hundred years uh, forward, this is the aeroplane that today's fast jet pilots will do their training on. The uh, short Takano has been in Royal Air Force service uh, since uh, 1989. And we'll be very pleased to see you. We've got some excellent memorabilia, uh, which we'll uh, happily uh, give to you in exchange for a small donation. Also this year supporting the uh, Royal Air Forces Association, which uh, provides uh, fellowship and support to both serving and former members of the Royal Air Force. And uh, the uh, final charity we're supporting this year, the John Egging Trust. A relatively new charity which was set up in honour of Flight Lieutenant John Egging, who uh, sadly lost his life while completing a Red Arrows display at Bournemouth in 2011. And uh, for those who haven't yet uh, seen the good work that the charity do, the John Egging Trust's uh, mission is to uh, bring, uh, bring disadvantaged uh, young people out of their shells to help them fulfil their full potential. So a thoroughly worthy organisation and one which we at RAF Linton on Ouse have been supporting and uh, as it happens, the John Egging Trust have a stand, it's just uh, next door to the Takano display team. So uh, if you come and see us, do please also go and say hello to the John Egging Trust and find out more about the good work they do. Now Steve, uh, pulls up, have a look at this. This is a new manoeuvre for this year, the hanging stall turn. And uh, note how the aeroplane appears to and then red light on, green light, 